Do you ever hear people saying, oh, that was my idea, they stole it, or that was the one that got away, man. Really should have fucking talked to that girl. Or, I don't know why I didn't start that business. Like, it would have worked out perfectly. Now there's so many of them. That, my friends, is called regret. And today, I want to show you how to live a life without regret. Check it out. So first off, I want to let you know that everybody has this disease. I have it, you have it. It's just about working towards the goal instead of just letting the idea sit in your head, okay? There is a seed being planted in your head every time you have a thought that you actually want to take action on, but something stops you, probably laziness or no self-belief that stops you from taking action on that thought. So the one way to live your life without regret is when you have that idea that you just get so passionate about in that instant second and that passion can go away within the next two seconds but if you feel that passion in that one second that intuition that gut feeling you need to write it down right away you need to write it down and then analyze the situation okay there's this thing when I was in like my so senior year of economics called that I learned about called opportunity cost okay and that's probably one of the only things I learned from school that was like really good is understanding how much time money and effort is gonna go into something what are the positives and what are the negatives and opportunity cost is literally how I analyze everything that I go through in my life whether it's like getting into a new business venture going out to travel going to a restaurant like anything I'm like okay what's the opportunity cost in doing this um, so if you don't know what it is, go Google it, help you out a ton. And if you don't take action on this voice, it's gonna eat you alive, like on a day-to-day -day basis. You might even have nightmares because of it. It's 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 that thing that's calling you from the bottom of your soul, and like and like if you don't take action, it'll just like eat you up. I mean, I've been talking to a lot of like 60, 70 year olds lately, and when they ask me about like what I do, how I've been living my life, they they get so like jealous in a way, and they're like, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have followed my dreams. I wish I wish I would have quit that job. I wish I would have talked to that girl it, it's crazy because they're already like they're like you're only 24 you're only 24 and you're doing all of that and I'm just like yeah I just like decided to take action on my dreams and they're just like good for you guys the reason why you don't want regret in your life is because regret leads to envy because the person that actually took action on that idea that you had because remember we're all a collective consciousness there's nothing like you're you're not like the one, no, probably multiple people had that same idea. That one guy was just the one that took action on it and that's why he's a multi-billionaire, you feel me? Or took action and executed well, that's why he's a multi-billionaire. So understand that like envy is real and it's actually one of the seven deadly sins. So you don't wanna be left with envy. That's why haters hate, you feel me? Because they're envious of whoever they're talking about. They wish they would have done that, okay? You don't wanna be that person. So I know a lot of people have regret when it comes to like quitting their job. Maybe they didn't quit it soon enough or they just never quit it at all throughout their life. When it comes to stuff like that, and really anything, you need to lay out your opportunity cost, okay? You need to write down exactly how you think that one thing's gonna go. How are you gonna tell your boss that you're gonna quit? What are you gonna do after you quit? And how's all that gonna work out? Are you financially stable to be able to quit your job? Like, you need to lay it all out because like me personally, I've quit my job with like, no, no no support right and like not a lot of people are willing to do that and not a lot of people should do that especially if they have a family like uh, when I quit my job I was like what like 21 <laughs> like and I just went all out but it's because it was just me and I knew I was gonna be okay but if you have kids you don't you don't want to like leave everybody hanging you know because like I mean you could you totally could do that and that's like the whole burn the boats mentality but your wife might hate you for it I don't know see that's like something you have to figure out and write down and see like what's the opportunity cost on that one and my favorite part of this entire process is that when you do all these steps you're actually like becoming God and I know some people might be like what the fuck Laura becoming God no no guys like literally you're becoming God because you're creating a reality you're manifesting something no, no matter what it is whatever your idea was like you took it from a thought onto paper to take action so because of all those steps you created a reality for yourself whether good or bad you created a reality and that's what God does creates reality guys I never really thought I was gonna live past 21 like to be completely honest with you I didn't think I was making it to 22 at all and once I did I realized like holy shit life is like long what am I gonna do with it and I knew I never wanted to live with regret that's why I got out of a toxic relationship that's why I, I like just 
literally just like 180 on my life and yeah i just decided like i made a promise to myself i wasn't ever gonna regret any decision i've ever made whether it turned out good or bad i did it because i felt that intuition you know what i'm saying so the way i want to leave you guys on this specific topic is act on your intuition there's a reason why you have that feeling that gut feeling act on it write it down write it out and then visualize it and then go take massive action towards that goal and remember it's only good if it's a positive one though, right? Like if it's a positive intuition, they're gonna positively impact society, okay? I don't want people commenting on this like some weird shit. So positive manifestation, okay guys? I hope you go take massive action. I hope you never live a life with regret. Please, please go take action on every single one of your dreams. You deserve it. Every single part of that you deserve, you've earned it and like, I love you and I want you to be happy. I want you to be successful and I just literally laid out exactly how you can do that for yourself. See you guys later.